In this video, we're going to take a look at how Blender runs on a MacBook Pro M3 Pro. And uh, we're going to go through a few test files. And then afterwards, we're going to look at the benchmarks. To my surprise, Blender actually allows you to use the MacBook Pro GPU in uh, Blender for rendering. So the rendering is actually not that slow. As you can see, this is a real time recording. This is of course nothing compared to the performance you get with a uh, desktop GPU on Windows, but uh, it's not too bad if you're just using Blender from uh, time to time. It is definitely fast enough for me for when I'm on a vacation and can't use my Windows desktop computer, but if you plan to use Blender a lot or play a lot of video games, I would recommend sticking to a uh, gaming computer, whether it's a laptop or a uh, desktop computer. And when we take a look at the difference between an NVIDIA GPU and a MacBook Pro GPU, we'll see that there's a huge difference. A $1,500 desktop computer, for example, is going to give you around 5,300 in the benchmark score, which is the estimated number of samples per minute for a benchmark file. And if you compare a $2,000 gaming computer, with an RTX 4080 to a MacBook Pro M3, you can see that the price is the same, but the rendering time for the MacBook Pro is almost four times as high. As you can see, for this one, it's uh, 1429. And if we go back to the laptop for $2,000 with a 4080, you can see that 5,620. So there's a huge difference. For me, the bad graphical performance on a MacBook Pro doesn't really matter because I do everything related to Blender and gaming on my desktop computer. For everything else, I use the MacBook Pro. The battery is really good, the screen is good, the speakers are good. So it's just a uh, much better experience in uh, my opinion compared to a Windows laptop. So is the MacBook Pro a good computer and good value for a Blender? I would say no. But if you just use Blender from time to time, I would say that it's good enough.